My name is Swaggy C. Five years ago, I was super broke in college and came across day trading. I stopped playing college basketball, dropped out of school my senior year, and spent the next few years learning Forex, stock indices, and cryptocurrencies. I became a babysitter in Greenwich, Connecticut to pay my bills while trying to become a consistent trader. In 2018, I got on a CBS show called Big Brother and met my wife, Bailey. After returning to her hometown of Missouri, we rented a Penske truck and drove 33 hours and moved to Los Angeles. While living in LA, I went on another TV show called MTV's The Challenge and lived in Prague, Czech Republic for a few months. While in Prague, I knew that I wanted to focus on building my business and becoming the greatest trader in the world upon returning back to the States. After coming home, I put my all into day trading and created two businesses. Now, after five years of studying the market, I'm set to hit $1.7 million this year with none of that money relating to TV. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex zone. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Oh, just pulled up to the crib, put the car in park. I actually like this car. What you guys will see is that this is not really my car. I'm actually test driving it. My plan is by episode six or seven, I'm going to go to a dealership or two and buy two cars outright. One for me and one for my wife, Bailey. So right now, my two options are the BMW i8, actually I have three, a Lamborghini or a Tesla. So what I'm doing right now is test driving the i8 for a week, test driving the Lamborghini for a week, test driving the Tesla for a week, and then on week four, I'll probably be at like episode five, six, or seven. I'm not really sure, but by week four, I should have one of those cars and you will see me, like it'll be recorded, it'll be its own episode of me going into a Lamborghini dealership, Tesla dealership, or even a BMW dealership and buying the car straight up, outright, and even my wife's too, because she wants a Range Rover. Like, she doesn't have any options. She's stuck on a Range Rover Sport, like a red one. But right now, I'm testing the IA. I actually like this car a lot. The only problem is very, very low to the ground, so I figure I'm gonna have that same problem with the Lamborghini next week, but we will see. As the episodes go on, we will track the progress of how I like it, and then in a few episodes, I will buy two cars outright. So, I'll keep you guys updated. by far my favorite apartment. Um, we moved in here and you're gonna see in like the next few episodes, we're moving into another apartment. It's a big two bedroom. It's like, I don't know, 2000 square feet, whatever. Okay. We gotta wait for another month to move in there. Um, this is where we at now. Yeah, so trading setup. That's where everything is. So I have all three trading setups because obviously I'm a full time trader and I take this you know job very seriously. But obviously with my academy uh, that I started a few months ago. I have everything here so I can look at them 24 seven, and like analyze the timeline that we have going on. The hardest part about, you know, running an academy and trading at the same time is trying to find, you know, time for myself. My account size may be a lot bigger than a lot of my students. So my stop loss may be 50 pips and there's, if they have it at 50 pips, that may blow their account. So just a lot of things I gotta figure out. I know I gotta call my, my designer, David, um, to kind of figure out some things on the direction of the academy. Um, he's been like my ride or die. He's basically built this entire website, you know, from scratch. Um, hopefully I have a better direction on where this academy is gonna go after I talk to him. Call it that. I've had six kids. 
<laughs> so my web designer is calling me and me and him have planned this whole thing from the bottom up. I started off with a real basic website and now I have so much software in this website that the website costs about 30 grand right now just to have. So he's been my ride or die this entire time through. And right now we're trying to figure out some updates we can make to the academy to make it the best you know, website out there. Bro, I apologize, bro. The last week I had to relax, bro. I'm, you know me, bro. I'm ready to get back to this academy. I'm, I'm glad the students understood um, oh, everything. Oh, you talking about that, man. 20 minutes, get out of here. Oh, you're talking 20 minutes? Bro, you know me. 20 minutes mean an hour or vice versa. Oh, my God. I'm providing a lot of service and value yeah. and a lot more than these other traders. Like, all these other traders would charge $850, $1,200, $2,000 $2, just for their course material. No interactions, no webinars, no timeline, no nothing. And I'm offering all that for 3850 So it's a matter of like, I think my issue is a lot of people are coming, are hearing about the market from me. So they don't know, you know, what they're supposed to be getting or the real value they have as opposed to these other traders who just drop videos. You never talk to them ever. The money part doesn't bother me at all. I know I have to spend money to like get new features, new softwares. What bothers me and David as well is more so the time. So I have to figure out a way to give my students all the time in the world in the sense of like all the content, the value, help them actually learn the market without just videos, but like something that they see me weekly or daily, but I also got to make time for myself. That's the, the hard part that I'm trying to figure out right now. Me and David are brainstorming is how can I give so much value, but without being there 24 hours a day. So I don't know. We got to figure some things out. Shut the phone, David. <laughs> Why are you breathing hard? Cause I'm stressed out. Yeah, I was talking for like a good thirty minutes about where we're going with the academy and how to balance my own trading with it. So, so Swaggy and I met on Big Brother, and that was an interesting experience because we started off as friends and never expected to like each other, but fell in love in a short span of twenty-three days. And two years later, here we are. Regular. Baby. It's every day. Take a deep breath. Uh huh. Take another one. Yeah, I need you to stop getting so worked up. That's some shrimp. Baby, focus. <laughs> for real, like you're always stressed out. The stress of the Swag Academy has been a little hard for my relationship with Swaggy because I obviously am his number one fan and supporter, so I want him to do well and I'm excited for him. But um, we come from a place where we do everything together. Like we met on reality TV. We spent 24 seven with each other for the past two years. So to have him so busy all the time and focused on so many other people that are not me is not really fun. And you're always working and I need your brain to stop working at a million miles an hour. It's hard because I love trading, but I started this business and it's great, but um, a lot of responsibility, a mm -hmm. lot of people. So it's a matter of how to make sure I still have time for me at the end of the day because like I said, as of right now, these last three months, how's it been for you? <laughs> Hectic, <laughs> my point. It's like I've given them everything and they're 100% satisfied, but then you're not 100% satisfied. Bailey worries about me a lot, like a lot, a lot. She's always worried about me and it started when we first started dating, but like now it's definitely over the top because I'm in a position with, you know, a lot of money. I'm a leader now. I'm a heavy influencer now. I inspire a lot of people. And I haven't found the accurate balance of work and her. So for example, our first year of dating, you know, it was cool, you know, trading and then going back to her. But now I'm a trader and I actually started an academy. So now I have 600 and 700 members to, you know, who look up to me and always are texting me and emailing me looking for updates and answers on the market. And I actually have to teach them and then make time for my own trading. So I do this, you know, 16, 17, 18 hours a day. And then I get in bed and she's expecting, you know, a conversation or, you know, to talk, quality time, kisses, intimate time, all of that. And I'm just so tired. And that is one thing, like I said, I'm struggling with that I got to do a better job at because that's the last thing I want because my wife is first and work is second. And the last month, even though I've made more money than I've ever made in my entire life, it means nothing if my wife feels like I haven't spent time with her. You know what I mean? That too, quality yeah. time. That's a love language. And yeah. I got to do better at that, so. But I'm proud of you for making time to eat, so there's that. Yeah. Yeah. But smile. This is good. This is your baby. 
Money is great. Mm -hmm. The academy is great with money. T-shirts is great with money. My own trading is great with money. Mm. Quality time. It's lacking. It's lacking. Yeah. And that's actually been my strong point the last year and a half. Yeah. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll do a better job. Okay. Let okay. me know if you need something. Vegetables. So I am finally going to get my beautiful puppy, Velvet Suede Williams, and I feel like I've been waiting a lifetime, but I've actually been waiting quite a while. We had to sign up to be um, his parents in November, and it took a long process because we were waiting for our baby to be born and to get ready to fly. So we chose Poppins Puppies, and we did try to adopt, maybe um, went to, I don't know, like three or four shelters in LA, but hypoallergenic dogs that are small and that can travel with you are not really um, in shelters. So we chose to go this route because I needed the perfect companion, have a little bit of anxiety, and now I need a partner to keep me company while daddy is working. It's so weird, like, I don't even know how to feel about this right now because when I first met Bailey, the first thing she told me is, you know, if we're gonna be really serious with this relationship thing, I want a dog and a cavapoo. And she's never even had a dog before in her life, and I've had seven. So this is you know, kind of you know, nothing to me, but it's new to her. And it's also new to me in the sense of I've never had my own as a grown adult. So I don't know how to feel right now, but I know driving this car to LA, you know, LAX right now, I'm just you know, a little bit nervous, but more so excited. Oh my God. Yeah, this is so exciting. I'm so nervous. Oh my God. Come on, man. Turn green. Are you not nervous? No, but no. I just okay. like pee, and then I'd be very happy to see my dog. Oh my God. This is the longest red light ever, y'all. I think you're you're having bladder issues. I really got to so pee. Like, this long. is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. God. Now I'm going to have to potty train two pups. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my goodness. I got okay. the two. Oh my goodness, this is nuts. Okay. Oh. I'm on my <gasps> okay, right here, babe. Come on, come on, right here. Listen, we are officially parents. I know. Um, he's very nervous and scared. It's his first day, but um, he's gonna get used to us by the end of the night. Look at him. Oh. Yo, he's literally perfect. Like I couldn't have asked for a better dog. I'm just in love right now. Come here, Robin. I know. I know. He's like really nervous. Hi, baby. Yeah, get to know me, please. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi. What's going on? Oh, okay. So my puppy is here and Velvet loves me as you can see, um, but he's perfect. And I'm so happy that we did what we did. And I chose him cause he looks like me and he has my curly hair. And yeah, you don't, you don't think that Velvet? Mm -hmm. He thinks so. You want to cuddle? Because you can cuddle with me if you want. Do you want to cuddle with me? Do you want to cuddle with Dang, me? Bringing him home, I'm looking at him. He's just running around trying to get you know used to this new environment. And me and Bailey just sitting down just watching him like in love. Like this is our first son. Like you know what I mean? Like this is our actual child. And we got to take care of him like it. So it's going to be you know a new change to adapt to him. But I'm definitely excited. Huh, gold, 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 a bunch of lower highs, so like it leveled out at 1750. I'll just finish this a little later. <sighs> Yo, super long day, like very, very long day. I want to wrap it all up right now and like let you guys, you know, see how my life really is on a day-to-day -day basis. It revolves around me actually trading, me teaching people how to trade, me selling t-shirts, which I haven't even, you know, thrown in this episode, me spending time with Bailey, um, my dog, just a lot of things in general. And I want to give you guys, you know, kind of an overview of what's to come with this whole TV show. Um, you guys should expect a live account from me, 
So what I plan on doing is a few things actually. So I wanna do a challenge. I'm gonna let you guys determine the amount, whether it's 1K, 3K, 5K, whatever it may be. I'm gonna try to take that account and turn it into 50K, 100K, you know, as high as I can do by the time season one ends and we'll see how far it takes. I don't know if season one ends after episode 10, 15, I don't know. But after every single episode, I'm gonna show you, you know, an update. I made 5,000 today, I made 10,000, I lost 2,000, I made 1,000. Like live accounts, wins, losses, my FX books, I'm gonna make it public so you guys can follow my trades and my history log. Like I wanna show you guys, like I'm really a day trader. Like I'm legit, you feel what I'm saying? So let me know in the comments below if you, you know, want me to start off with 1K, 3K or 5K or even 10K. Whatever you guys want to see, that's what I'll start with. Um, also, you guys should look forward to me actually teaching people, not just in my academy. I plan on having one or maybe two individuals come onto the TV show who know absolutely nothing about the market and teach them everything they need to know to be profitable. I'm not saying they're going to make 5000 in a day or even in a week, but I'm going to say they're going from somebody who knows absolutely nothing about it to making an extra $1,000 a month, $2,000 a month, $3,000 a month until they're on their own, until they have a part-time income and then eventually they'll have as a full-time income in the next year or two, you know what I mean? But my job is to get this in their system and have it make the money. And you guys will see that on the Academy as well. You guys will see Velvet grow, you know, over the next couple of weeks and months. You guys will see how I balance, you know, the Academy with time with my wife and me actually giving her quality time. You guys can expect interviews, you know, people coming on the show, other traders, me sitting down talking with them and like figuring out their success to trading, you know, balancing ideas off each other. You guys can expect a lot off this TV show. I plan on giving you guys, you know, all of me. And I just hope that you guys give me all of you and, you know, watch it in its entirety watch me trade live, look at my psychology, look at how I teach people, look at what I do on a day-to-day -day basis and realize like this is not easy, but I try to make it as easy as possible. Um, reality TV as well, I didn't even throw that in there. Like me being on, you know, the challenge right now and then another TV show after the challenge ends, you know, possibly you guys are gonna see me factor in that as well. Am I gonna go back on the next challenge? Am I going on another show? You guys will see me make real live decisions on here comparing it to trading. So I hope you guys, you know, really enjoy this episode. There's a lot to come in the upcoming episodes and um, make sure you subscribe below so you can be notified when, you know, episode two, three, four, five, six and beyond drops. So enjoy season one. Preview to episode two, I rented out a huge Airbnb mansion. I gave my wife the best gift a husband could possibly give. I have a sit down candid conversation with Mamba FX, one of the best traders in the game, and we give y'all a lot of advice and the trading challenge I'm starting. Episode two, dropping soon.